Elizabeth Blackwell, Mary Curry, and Jane Goodall are all three world-famous women who made great contributions to the world of science. And the next generation of female scientists will meet in Coeur d'Alene today. KXY4's Eric Loney live at the University of Idaho, where 200 girls are taking part in science camp. Yeah, good morning. There'll be 150 here in this lab at uh, the University of Idaho, and there'll be another 150 here tomorrow. They'll be here talking to one of the professors. This is Michelle Wiest. She's a professor at the University of Idaho in statistics. That's a hard word for me to say. <laughs> and one of the, uh, the examples or one of the demonstrations you're going to be doing for the girls is this one. Tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, what I have here is a bowl of beads that represents the Coeur d'Alene Lake. And we're going to be having the girls take one cup samples of these beads and counting the number of blue beads they get in their sample. And this is going to illustrate the statistical concepts behind sampling from a large body of water, which they're doing in the lab. So once they complete the lab portion of this activity, we're going to collect that data, present it back to them, and have them apply the same statistical uh, concepts that they learned in this activity to their own data. And one of the things we're talking about, this is trying to get more women involved in sciences, mm -hmm. including statistics, because you were telling me earlier, I mean, this is, they need more people like you out there. <laughs> this is true. Uh, it's the information age. There is a lot of data um, that needs to be interpreted. And the, the limiting factor on learning from all this information is the people that can make sense of all that data. One thing we've been talking about this morning, too, is what fields do you think are going to be big in the future for young women and even for young men as well? It's, it's going to be statistics and applied mathematics. It's um, across the board. Just about every, um, every field, science or not, has information that needs to be processed. So it's going to, it's, um, as Hal Varian from Google said, it's the, going to be the um, sexy new profession. <laughs> and for you, what's the best part of being here? Is it getting these young women in? Because it's, it's, they were all recommended by their teachers, their math teachers and science teachers to come. Yeah, this is true. It's, um, for me, I, I really enjoy uh, opening their eyes to, to, the, to the idea of um, statistics and mathematics being something that they can, uh, that, that they can pursue. And, and it's, it's challenging, but, um, but well worth it. And it, you, get to, you get to work with people as well, not just numbers. And it's going to be extremely necessary as well in the future. Absolutely. So 200, about, well, roughly 300 people, 150 today, 150 tomorrow, all out here learning things like this. Also be doing some science experiences as well. Mike, Nadine, back to you. And speaking of statistics, Sally Showman taking a class on that right now. Oh, huh? my gosh. Yeah, I'm getting my meteorology degree, so I have Good a statistics wow. test due on Wednesday. Lovely stuff, ladies. <laughs> well, Get into luck. it.